with meteorologist Deidre Tate. I'll tell you what, Dee, it's like Mother Nature keeps Thanksgiving week in mind because it seems like everywhere across the country mm -hmm. is dealing with an extreme weather. Yeah, and that's making uh, some troubles for traveling. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hitting the roadways today, tomorrow, and especially leaving from Mobile. If you're traveling north, you're going to have to deal with a lot of rain, possibly, and maybe even some wintry precipitation. So that's something you want to be mindful of if you're going to be hitting the roadways over the next couple of days. Thankfully, right now it is quiet. So if you're going to be out and about this afternoon, at least for the first half of the afternoon, looking good. Rain will be moving in, though, as we head towards later tonight. Right now it's 51 degrees in Mobile. It is 54 in Pensacola. 54 right now in Pascagoula, and it's 53 over towards Crestview. As far as your weather headlines, it's definitely a cloudy day, but still temperatures are able to rise a bit. We're going to stay right around the 50s throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening. And then the rain's going to be moving in tonight. Maybe some temperatures even going up a bit as a warm front moves inland. And then behind this entire system, it is going to get colder. So plan on that colder air to kind of stick around for a while. As far as clouds and radar over the past 12 hours, for us, for the most part, just the cloud cover we've been dealing with. A lot of the rain has stayed off to our west. We're going to get a different view here, and you can see the big picture of this system. It's affiliated with an area of low pressure that's developing in the Gulf of Mexico and also affiliated with an upper level low that is moving across the southern plains. Really large system, a lot of moisture affiliated with this. The northern extent of this, we have a lot more colder air, so they're dealing with some, again, freezing precipitation, wintry mix, just making travel, traveling conditions just a bit hectic, and all of that is shifting towards the east. So. As far as our forecast, as we make our way towards later on this afternoon, the rain will start to push into our area gradually. We'll go with about a 40% chance of rain at around 5 o'clock into the 7 o'clock time frame tonight. Then the rain chance is becoming more likely as we head towards midnight on and through our Tuesday morning. So for your Tuesday morning commute, you want to make sure you allow yourself some extra time to travel. We could be dealing with some slick roadways for sure and maybe even some isolated, stronger storms towards the immediate coastline pending on the exact track of that area of low pressure and that warm front. Eventually Eventually, as we head into the afternoon and evening, a lot of the rain will move east of us. But again, this is a surface feature as well as an upper level low. So as that upper low moves in, it's going to give us another dose of a few showers. But if you're north of I-10, let's say around Highway 84, there is a very small chance you can get a rain, maybe some wintry precipitation mixing in around the areas of Grove Hill, Thomasville, places like that. We're going to be watching that and see what happens with that upper low. But eventually, all that moves to the east. By Wednesday, we do get the sunshine back, but it's going to be much colder and it's going to be windy, which is going to set the stage for a very chilly start to your Thanksgiving. As far as the rain predictor, anywhere from two to four inches will be possible with the system. Again, the bulk of it occurring overnight tonight through your Tuesday morning. So plan on again a lot of rain to impact the Gulf Coast over the next 24 to 36 hours. As far as the forecast though for the rest of the day, we'll keep the temperatures hovering into the 50s. We'll go with 58 for a high in Daphne, around 60 for Foley with about a 40% chance of rain through the earlier part of the evening. Again, later tonight, rain chances will be likely 57 7 for Frisco City, 58 for Atmore, same temperature for Chatham. As we head into the Florida Panhandle, more of the same. Your warmer temperatures may actually be closer to midnight as that low gets closer. We'll go with 60 for Pensacola, 58 for Jay, and into Mississippi, more 50s dominating the map with 58 for Bendale, and we'll go with 60 for Moss Point. So cool temperatures. Here's your seven day. Staying right around the mid 50s, low 60s through tomorrow. Again, rain is likely tonight, 90 to 100 percent through Tuesday. Behind this entire system. We cool it down quite a bit by Thanksgiving with 20s to start the day. Black Friday, make sure you bundle up if you're going to be out early. And then for the Iron Bowl on Saturday, locally, the weather's looking nice.